Governor Bill Lee and state emergency officials just wrap up a, new, a news conference about Hurricane Helene's impact on the state. Let's go to Ali Lynch at the alert desk now with a breakdown of what he had to say. I want to call several important major updates coming out of this conference. The governor calling the devastation an unprecedented event that could not have been anticipated, with their main focus continuing to be recovery efforts. Some of those updates include multi-state response centers opening up in the hardest hit areas. Tima says they have surveyed 600 homes across four different counties with 120 of them destroyed and more than 300 having major damage. 400 National Guardsmen are on the ground as well as 400 TDOT workers. So far, officials have inspected 300 bridges. Governor Lee says utility providers are also making great work. Nearly 1,400 residents remain without power this morning, which is down, though, from 9,000 just two days ago. Governor Lee continues to visit the most impacted areas, meeting with victims firsthand. The volunteer spirit is alive and well in Tennessee, and it's evidenced if you get on the ground in the counties that are affected up east. What we've seen is a historic situation unfold in East Tennessee, and I, I think what we're seeing is a, frankly, a historic response to that. And the death toll in Tennessee still stands at eight victims. Nikki